Oh! Blast it! Oh hi! Didn't see you there! I'm Philip from Clix Industries and today I've got a very special video to show you. Can my GeForce 1080, part of my Dino PC, do 1080p gaming? Hmm, it's a difficult one. Is it up to the task or does it look at it, do a full 1080 and walk away again? We'll just have to play on to find out. Thanks Philip. Yeah, we're going to start this test with Deus Ex, since if we don't do this then nobody's going to ask for it. Now we're going to set it to Ultra Preset, but this isn't enough. We're going to take it further by turning the anisotropic filtering up to an eye-popping 16 times. Now, why don't games set up to 16 times by default, you might ask? And that's because the impact on frame rates tends to be catastrophic. But sometimes, you've just got to let go and embrace what you've become. OK, so at HD on Ultra and with 16 times anisotropic filtering, you can see that we're getting at least 70 FPS at all times. Frame times are low, there's no tearing or quantum duplexing going on, and it's all feeling very solid around the main hub district. 4K, however, is out of the question, even with the DirectX 12 patch. This, in my opinion, is wrong. But the world doesn't care about right or wrong. It's all about power. And right now, none of us have it. But with that being said, Deus Ex is a game that we can safely say is playable at 1080p, even on just a lowly GeForce 1080 card. Even Adam Jensen looks impressed. Why, it sure did a good job there. But what about this game? Next up, can it run Crisis 3? I set it to absolute max. And yes, that also includes an eye gouging 16 times anisotropic filtering. But can it dig it? Yes, it can, most of the time above 60 FPS, though at points it drops a frame or two below it but I have a confession to make. 4K has spoiled me. Returning to HD is a bit like trying to game on a TV screen. I think that perhaps games are approaching a level of detail where HD isn't enough to do it justice anymore. It's as though they're trying to cram in too many effects into too few pixels. I would much rather play this game at 4K on high than uh, HD on highest. And to further add to the disappointment, I think the game's beginning to show its age. Where there's detail, it's great, but distant areas and high up trees often lack the detail that they'd be given in a game from 2016. Don't get me wrong, it still looks great. But I think we should all be asking the question, can it run Crisis 4 before long? <laughs> I'm going to shock you. My Minecraft account got hacked. All they did was to change my profile details, which I'll be able to change back again in a month's time apparently. But until then, Go Kill Yourself 2 is going to be exploring the amplified world of Seed 2 Clicks Philip. Minecraft isn't what I'd call a demanding game, but recent updates have let you up the view distance, and more importantly the anisotropic filtering, to insane levels. So although it looks like it's running at hundreds of frames a second, if we find a nice spot to perch… No. No. Ugh. After this I floated about a bit at sub 60 FPS until it suddenly went super laggy and unplayable until I quit it. Not a good result. Well. It looks like it's that time of the month that we've all been waiting for. Conclusion time. Can the GeForce 1080 do 1080p gaming? Well, as we've seen from benchmarks, in most titles it can. However, there are still some select situations where if you have the anisotropic filtering turned too high up, it fails to hit that all-important 60fps minimum standard even at HD resolutions. It seems that 2016 isn't the year of 4K. Sadly, that's all the time we've got right now. I hope you've liked this video. If so, then like, subscribe and share with all your friends and family and partners and all those in between. So until next time, I'm Philip.